Hey there, Rich Weller here. In the next two minutes, I'm going to show you how to create a risk register using Copilot in Microsoft Edge, and then we will move that over into Microsoft Excel. So without further ado, let's get started here. Let me share my screen and walk you through a few clicks. So you can see here I'm sitting within um, Copilot inside of Microsoft Edge. And what you've come to know is, hey, in order to work with your friend here, Copilot, uh, you have to ask it the right questions. You have to create that right prompt. And actually, I'm going to, in this case, I'm going to say multiple prompts. So here's my first one. I'm going to show you this. Here's my first prompt. I'm setting, setting Copilot up this way. I'm saying, hey, act as a PMP certified senior project manager with over 25 years of experience in construction. You are also an expert in risk management. So for every question that follows, answer with a quantifiable result using a personal tone. But please wait until my next question. All right, so we're setting up a co-pilot here. Uh, we're telling it how we want it to ask. And you can see it's kind of giving us a response back. It's saying, feel free to proceed with your questions. I'll address them promptly. So here's our next, speaking of prompt, here's our next prompt. The scope of my project is a three-bedroom, two-bathroom home. It should be built within Birmingham, Alabama with the cost of no more than 300 k The family would like to move in within six months. So you can see we're giving our friend, our friend Copilot, a little bit more information. And it's coming back. It's uh, it's telling us, uh, it's kind of reiterating things. But we, you know, we don't, we, hey, Copilot, we, we don't need to hear all that right now. I'm going to stop my response because actually, Mr. Copilot, what I want you to do is, what I'm, what I'm wondering if you can do is, can you, can you uh, create me a risk register that includes the columns for ID, risk name, probability, impact, and priority? And be sure to use the values of one through five for both the probability and impact. All right, all right, Copilot, let's see what you can do with that information. And so you can see here, it's starting to build that table with those columns that we told it to use. And, uh, and so you can see it's listing out the different uh, risks that are associated with that project. It's dropping in the probability impact. It's also um, putting in the priority that's based upon that probability times impact. But, but we're, not, we're not done yet, Copilot. We need just a little bit more information. Can, can you give us two more columns? Can you add two more columns to that risk register? Can you add the risk response and risk response measure to that table? So let's see what Copilot comes back with. Feels like the same uh, first few columns that we asked for, so it's regenerating that. And now it's telling us, hey, for this risk, uh, you should mitigate this. And here's how you go about mitigating it. For this next risk number two, you should transfer that. Here's how you should do about go about doing that. And so you can see it's uh, produced uh, five different risks here. We probably could have told it to produce more, you know, 10, 20. Uh, but here's the kicker. Now notice that right here in the upper right of this table, I can now dump this over into Excel. So now you can see we've got different information within Excel. And what I'm going to do is actually open it up in the Excel, the client uh, version of Excel. And from here, I'm going to do a little formatting here, make these bold, but but then I'm going to tell Excel to turn that into a table. I'm going to accept the defaults here and click on OK. And now you can see um, we've uh, we've got a nice formatted table here in Excel that we can uh, use our Excel-like features to focus on the ones that maybe that we want to avoid. Boom. There you go. All right. So there you go. Um, that's it. Hopefully you got a nugget or two of value out of this one. Oh, and we and now that we've got this information over here in Excel, you know that we could actually take that, um, replace these cells with the formula to do that automatic calculation. So there you go. Hope you got a nugget or two of value from this one.